Zero FXB, welcome to my channel. So just quickly looking at the RS MS3 W software. This is the PC version. You can put it on your phone, but I'm just doing it on the on the on the PC with my with my ICOM ID 52. It could be the the 705, and I'm doing it via a USB cable, although it can be done via Wi-Fi. So if I just click stop here, now what I've got is the all the IP addresses that they've given you. You know the 70, the Icon 705 has a new feature called monitor mode, where you, when you're in DR mode, look on the right and push the multi-function button. If you push it, you can go into monitor mode, but to do that, you need IP addresses. So what you do, you upload this long list of IP addresses, and, um, and that links you direct to a repeater that's uh, registered in the Icon system. Okay, so I've put a, a local one on here. Now, I've, so I've run the RS MS3W software. If I click, uh, it, it's at stop at the moment. You've got a play and a stop here at the top. So that's play, stop, okay? So what I've done is put one of these IP addresses in that's near me. It doesn't have to be near you. It could be anywhere in the world. It just has to be internet linked. Put in my terminal call sign. Now, you do have to register with the actual repeater that you're going to contact. And I can't register with the one that I'm... Uh, that's near me. So I'm just messing around. I've UDT, UDP hole punch on. If you select disable, it means apparently it lets everything through. It doesn't choose these allowed call signs that are here at the bottom. Look, we don't really need to use them because um, we've disabled it. Look, if you enable it, then only these people can contact you here in this list. But I've disabled it. IP address there. When I click play, now I've got the radio and I put it into terminal mode. You just go, uh, let me get it right. We go menu up to DB gateway and then it says normal mode now, but to go into terminal mode, so if I'll show you, it's normal mode. Then you go menu, DB gateway, terminal mode. We're in terminal mode. I put the Cardiff repeater at the top. I left my call sign at the bottom because it won't actually let me change that. When I key, you have to push play or you'll get an error. Obviously, you need the cable connected. So you push play here at the top. Now, I think I am connecting because this come, this appears here, network transceiver, and it's got my call sign. Now, I can see that that's all wrong because I can't see that that's send it direct to me. Anyway, if I key, we should get an error. There you are, failed to connect. If you do it correctly, and this is what I'm trying to work out. I put in my Cardiff repeater at the top, which is the same as the IP address. That didn't work. If I just do local CQ and then key. We're still in terminal mode. So the idea, you know, the whole point behind this is key again. Is that you can go on to, we can connect to a repeater, not a reflector, a repeater. Uh, via internet. Now you can do this in monitor mode. I know that works. I've tested it on my on my 705. So I thought to myself, well if you can do it in monitor mode on an ICOM 705, then you can be you can do it in terminal mode. But I can't get there. I'm trying. Uh, if I click stop, there's not many settings that COM port. Yeah you select your COM port of course because the cable's connected. If you right click device manager COM4, there we are, COM13, which is selected here. These are all my IP addresses. I'll put all these links in the description. Let someone else have a go. There are in, There is an instruction manual, which I've got here. And it's still not really helped me. It, it tells you the basics and which radios you can use. And you can use older radios if you've got the 2350 cable. Just the usual installation of the software. That went fine and the driver loaded. So look, number one, exit closes the application. Number two, comp port, yeah. Number three, about. So what's that? Number three, about, opens the information window and displays the version number. So oh yeah, so that's nothing, is it? It's not gonna help us. Um, number four, start, we've seen that. Start the connection, yeah, stop. Gateway repeater, which I've done. I've got the gateway repeater. Where did I get that from? Remember, I got it from my Repeater list or IP list. Um, looking at my old videos as well. Uh, six. Enter the RSRPC's gateway repeater address domain name. 
Now that's what I've put here as far as I know. No, you must have your course sign registered. See, that's the kit, that's the trick. You must have your course sign registered to the gateway server that has the RS RP3C installed. Ask the gateway repeater. Terminal AP call sign. Enter the terminal AP call sign that is registered as the access point on the RS RPC's personal information screen. The call sign is of eight characters. Enter my call sign of the transceiver. Enter a space. Yeah, we know about that. Enter a desired ID suffix. Yeah, I R L L. If the call sign is entered lowercase, yeah, it automatically changes to capital. Main screen. Gateway type. Which is number eight. So we've selected uh, sublet global. We've selected on for the hole punch. Apparently, it lets you connect to call, all call signs as well. Allowed call sign. Yeah, well, I've told you about that. If you enable it, then you can sort of, you know, pick and choose who's going to come through. Allowed call sign, call sign. Enter the course on other stages we're allowed to transmit through. That's the same thing as this. Deleting the course sign. Course sign information field. Displays the information of course signs that are transmitted from the PC or received from the internet. So you get like a, a dashboard here, don't you? Course sign field displays the course that are allowed to transmit while the enabled while enabled is selection is allowed. So if you yeah, if you click enable, you, it displays what, what's happening. Click apply button, yeah, to save the settings. And that's all you get. So I'll click play. So I know there are certain domains that I could try and add. Um, XLX type domains. We could try that. Let's click pause here. Here's one. And look, you've got to see this XLX here. Let's try this. So we'll grab it. We'll copy it. I think we only want the XLX bit. We don't want the whole lot, do we? Copy. So click stop. Let's put the whole line. Paste. Okay. And then apply. And straight away I get a message. Apply. Gateway repeat server IP cannot be found. So that didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. Apply. Yeah. We get the idea of what I'm trying to do. How about these these internet, these IP addresses? Should we try one of these? MW7. Let's try this one. Copy, delete that, paste, apply, cannot be found. So yeah, let me know if you ever tinker with this. I, every now and again, I feel like I'm going to have a little tinker, but really, I think ICOM haven't gone all the way yet with this. They, It was a big step in the right direction with the IP monitor to make it user friendly, where you just tap a screen on the radio. Uh, I'll just show you what that looked like. To my chat. M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Playing around with this new so you can see. function that you've got with phone. You'll see this little what icon and down. Okay, so then we've done that. So the next is that if we move away, now we've got the two section. Of, if I turn my VFO knob here, I can move away. You can scroll through, and there's one there called Monic with Monic. There it is. See the Monic? It will say fail or, or it will connect. That means it's got the internet link. Okay, close. If I go. It's a new function. And then you've got the on. You can you turn, turn it on, on here. It. See that when you push, push the. Go back a bit. Push multi. And then you've got the repeat and Monic on or off. Zero, Fox, X, so Ray, I suppose I could put in zero, put in a call a call sign like this, couldn't I? A A one H D. Let's try that. Okay, so we've got A A A A H. I can't even speak in there. Um, if we push play, I don't think anything will happen. We'll click a play here. This IP address is no good. The only IP address that I actually got to connect to was that local one that I had. Let's click it without nothing. Yeah, nothing there. Let me just get that IP address. So I put it in the radio. 
If I put in the same one, AA1HD, there's the IP address there, here now. Push apply, then play. So look, it does actually, you know, we get a connection because it doesn't give me an error. So there's something happening. And then when I key, it says failed, look. So I, I do, you know, it's actually showing it in the UR, in the UR section, look. You are and my, but look, repeater one, and repeater two is failed, but I think that gets populated, doesn't it? When you, uh, cause I'm in terminal mode. Let me just check the, um, yeah, I'm in terminal mode. It's not working. If I go menu, DV gateway, normal, then menu, DV gateway, access mode. See if that makes any difference. No, look, it, it virtually disconnects it. Cause when you go into D into terminal mode, It's almost like a you know it's a USB connection. Click apply. I think I'm close. I'm you know like it says in the instructions, I have to be registered with them. Um, so if I key again, but the idea is internet connection via a USB. There's more to this. Come on, someone tell me. Icon people, tell us how to do this because we've all got it on our radios. We never use it. Bye for now. Seven three. Please like and subscribe to my channel.